Welcome to the pit of doom. The, <laughs> the pit of doom is what I call the garage with the Allegro in it because um, it's full of stuff. Handy, useful stuff, but it's full of stuff. And it's a little bit messy at the moment. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> we've got bits of P4. Uh, bits of P6 in that box, a uh, pile of rubbish with different vehicles, things in. Uh, this thing here, which is always full of rubbish. Anyway, I'm going in to the pit of doom because I am digging in the parts bin. Now are we going in the Allegro bin? The P6 bin or the Land Rover bin? At the moment we have no P4 bin. The P4 is spread around the whole garage with everything else. There's some here, some in that bag, uh, some at the front of the car. Uh, P6 wings, they're for Mr Jenkins. But anyway, I am going into the P6 box. And this is my box of spare parts. And I need to find, <laughs> yes, I can see it, my choke cable. Because I've had numerous amounts of problems with my hooked choke cable. So I've got one here. Now this one. It's very nice as it looks. Is it this one? This one hasn't got a lock-in mechanism, or the lock-in mechanism doesn't work, I believe. But the one that's in it, it is locked out. And I can't get the choke to stop choking the engine, so... I don't think I've got any more. I think that is my spare. Although I do want to go into the Land Rover box because I swear I had my old Land Rover choke cable. I don't know if I threw that away. This is what happens when you've only got two hands. Why can't humans be made with more than two hands? No, I must have thrown that old choke cable away. I thought, oh, I won't need that. Well, I do. Okay, so we have a choke cable. <laughs> um, we have an Allegro collecting dust. She hasn't really been out much this year. It's quite sad, isn't it? She's alright. Hey, Smudge. Hello, Smudge. Should we zoom in? Oh, that's blurry, isn't it? <laughs> and there is Mr. Jenkins. Um, right, I need to cut this and go and get the keys. I have the keys. Smudge! Look at the mess you've made. Poor prints all over it. Oh. <laughs> I love my cat, but he can be a right dickhead. Right, it's dark in here. I have got the torch, but I have only got two hands. So bear with me whilst I open the sesame. So here is the choke. And it's stuck out. It won't go back in, no matter what I do. Um, it's It won't go in, it won't go out. And it, it's the actual mechanism inside. Um, it's just getting gnarled up and I think the problem is is that what I had the um, the cable frayed on the end of this uh, end, of, end of here so I cut it off wow this lighting is rubbish isn't it so I cut it off and I got my friend to weld in a new cable or solder in a new cable but I think, even though I've filed it down and everything, it, it's getting caught 
in the um, the mechanism in there. And I've got this one here, and I say I'm pretty sure this one didn't lock. You can see the different types of um, hooked cable now. Look, you've got one that says choke on it, and they changed it to this conventional um, logo because. I think all cars sort of came with this logo in the future to sort of say that's the choke. Um, whereas the old hooked thing had choke written on it, same as the um, petrol reserve has got pet res on it. And this has got choke on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to get this choke cable out of here. And it's a pain in the backside. You've got to take the speaker grill off. And there's a special spanner, when I say special, I haven't got it on me, it's a ring spanner, it's a C spanner basically, if I put this in here to light it up, excuse the wiring mess, it's all to do with the radio, I don't know if you're able to see, there's a nut on the back of this, you can't see it. That's what I mean, it's a pain in the backside. So the nut is behind the, uh, oh my God, the lighting is so poor. The, the nut is behind here. Um, and mine's come loose because I've, got, I've gone so aggressive with it, trying to undo it, you know, undo the locking mechanism, um, that it's actually undone at the back. Which is quite handy because I haven't got that spanner on me. So I'm going to undo this nut. And then this thing will pull out. And then I'll disconnect it from the carburetor, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and we'll pull this bugger out if I can. Fingers crossed. I'll cut back in a minute. Okay, so I've taken the nut off the back and I've pulled this part the way through. So this piece here, this is all the outer part of the choke, the outer mechanism and uh, that's what the cable bit slides through which is this fella so this all slides through this part that bit just lives in the dashboard uh, the other thing I was going to show you which I never bother fitted, uh, fitting is the um, choke warning light switch clever little contraption I just never bothered fitting it back on to be honest because it's a right fiddle it's all a fiddle under here might be easier if you got this whole unit out but that's not really an easy job all right I'm going under the bonnet okay I've got the important thing cup of tea you can't do the job if you haven't got a cup of tea I'm sorry clumsy fingers so we're going to get a little 5 16 spanner on this one. I'm going to hold that little nut there still. And we get a little... Um, I'm not very good with numbers. It's 1 slash 4. So I think you just call that a quarter, I think. <laughs> and you'll... Um, I've got a little handy ratchet spanner. And you'll undo that, and then when you undo that, I've already slackened it off, it might come with your fingers now. That's it. Undo that, you see, relieve the tension, so the cable is free to come through. Can you see? And then if I poke this in, you'll just about see here. Can you see it? There's a hole. So when you come to fit the other cable, you go through, you go through this hole in the carburetor base. Oh, where are we? Through that hole, and then you got to go through that hole. Obviously, you can have two hands to keep it still. Once you've put that through, and you've set it into the carburetor base, and it's in there happy. You can then do that one up. So again, you hold the nut still and you do this bolt up. And it's done up tight then. 
Right, anyway, I'm taking this one out because this is your one. Smudgy! What are you doing? I like the hose pipe. I'm just going to sit and watch him. That's it, you guard everyone. Okay, so we're going to be pulling all this through. So find out where it's going. You can see it moving down there. It's going through a stupid little bung down by the accelerator pedal, I think. So if we go in the car, we can see down here. There's the bung up there. So let's pull that out of through. Now be careful when you do this if you've got a nice light coloured carpet because this might be greasy because it's been in the engine bay so you don't want it rubbing too much on your carpet. There it is. Now that's the easy part. Fun bit will be threading the new one through. I'm having a nightmare with my cameras because my actual camera has got the rubbish microphone so I have to use my phone and I haven't got a tripod or anything to put you somewhere <laughs> so you can watch. So um, I'll, I'll try and do any intricate um, recording with my phone, which I'm on now. And any other recording, I've um, I've strapped you onto boob cam, so you will be here looking at what I'm doing. So. Um, you won't, probably won't be able to hear much um, and probably won't be able to see much to be fair but <laughs> we'll give it a go, why not? even if I look like a twat <laughs> Oh, it's Chase Smudgy Come on Smudge You going in? <laughs> You good boy. What do you keep on your bedside table? I keep special spanners. Right, let's pull this whole thing out the dash. Now when you pull it out, keep your hand behind to catch the little nut and the washer that will come off. There they are. And also behind there will be this little plate. It's like a strengthening plate to stop the plastic from cracking when you do the choke cable up. So don't lose that. And when you come to put it all back on, don't forget to thread it through the choke first before you put it through the dashboard. <laughs> I don't know quite what angle this is at, but uh, anyway, I've got some mole grips because this part of the choke and the cable is meant to slide through this but they're jammed, they're jammed together this is the, um, the thing that does the lock-in, the lock-in mechanism so I need to try and gently grasp hold of that without damaging it and then even better still oh my god, these mole grips are lethal I need to grab hold of this My hands are too little. I mean, I suppose what you could do. Ew, these rags are all soggy. That's gross. Ew. Mm. I'm gonna go and get a rag. I've got a pink one. I'm gonna put a rag around that plastic thing before I try and grip hold of it. Yeah, because I don't want to put teeth mark in. So now, whew, what am I doing here? I've got to try. Yeah! See, that it's that easy when you've got bloody mole grips, but you should be able to do that with your fingers. Okay, so I'm going to take that bad boy out of there. Release the grip. soggy rag but I see a dry one let's have a look so this is the one you see 
I, um, my friend soldered the new cable on for me. But for whatever reason, it keeps jamming. Wow, my camera really doesn't want to focus on that cable, does it? <sighs> for whatever reason, it's jamming inside of this. It's doing a Bob Marley. We're jamming! 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 Do I file it down some more and risk it? Because it just keeps jamming in there. Let me go and get the other cable I've got because I don't think that one locks. I don't think it locks in place. Cable number two. So this is an original cable. Hasn't been soldered or anything. Let's thread it through this fella. I don't know if there's a right way up or what. Let's put this fella in. I would imagine there's only one way that it can go in. Not any of these ways, obviously. Hmm. Makes me wonder if it's this thing that's the problem. It's pretty beat up. Could it be this chrome surround that's stopping it? I don't know. Let's try again. <sighs> Why didn't I bring a seat out? See, that's jamming as well. It's doing a bob. We're jamming. 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 I hope you like jamming too. No, Bob. We do not like jamming. Now, I would imagine, looking at that, it should go that way. We're jamming, we're jamming, we're jamming, we're jamming. <sighs> we hope you like jamming too. No, Bob. We do not like jamming. I can tell you that now. Oh, sh sugar is it's jammed in there again. Something's not right. Well, I'm going to struggle with this for a little bit and just see what the hell's going on. I'm not going to waste all my battery on my phone. Um, I have an abundance of choke cables here. Um, I have a rubbish looking aftermarket choke cable. I have two uh, hooked choke cables. Um, somewhere I've got a new outer cable and I've got this old outer cable so I'm gonna make one of them work I'm gonna make one of them fit so I've used a aftermarket outer piece that the cable goes into but I've used the original cable and hooked knob and the original outer cable which is a plastic tube basically um, and now it works, but it doesn't seem to lock, which is strange because I'm sure it was locking when it was off the car, but it pulls out quite stiff and it doesn't really spring back. So when you initially start it, you pull it right out, start it, and then... I mean, you pretty much want to put it in a little bit anyway, straight away, because you don't want it revving its nuts off. And then you can just push it in. It's not, you know, that's meant to be lock, but it doesn't really lock it. You can push it in either way, really. It's just, um... 
a strange amount of play there that doesn't affect the idle speed really only a little bit but it's better than I had so we'll see how that goes along until something else turns up or that buggers up because we don't like things being buggered do we You have been watching Choke Cable Massacre. Sounds dramatic anyway, doesn't it? Look at the bloody things. Look at them all. So I'll tell you what I did again, just to get my own head around it. I bought this chilling, um, universal choke cable from eBay. I'll put a link in the description if you really want to have a go yourself. Um, yeah, this came in uh hang on where is it uh, i don't know i must have ripped it off in anger no it's gone probably still in the car so this came with its own one of these this part and then within this part this outer cable was in there okay this outer cable is very heavy and it's like a plastic tubing, a black plastic tubing with another plastic tubing inside of it. And between the layers of plastic, there's metal, um, like a metal springy material, right? When I had this in the car, this bloody thing had a mind of its own. This was, instead of the cable moving inside of it, this was moving over the cable which was just driving me insane um so it's obviously not compatible with the routing of the choke cable on the p6 perhaps if you've got a car where you can just literally put the cable through the bulkhead to the choke nice and easy that might be all right but the p6 as you saw roots up around all sorts of angles like that and that just was a pain in the ass so what i did is i pulled the plastic outer tubing which is very lightweight and it's just it's just a plastic outer tube that the cable runs through probably just to protect the cable to be fair um i ripped that tubing out of my old one and i shoved it into the aftermarket one of these so then i could thread the cable through this part through the plastic tubing and uh, up to the carburetor so i use one of these hooked type jobbies one of the original um, hooked cables and i threaded that through this one's outer aftermarket thingy but i so basically oh my god i'm making no sense so from the p6 i use my choke cable because there's nothing wrong with that part and there's nothing wrong with the cable all the way to, to the carburetor so I used that part I used this plastic tubing part from my P6 and then all I used from the aftermarket choke cable was that sort of part, that that bit there um, unfortunately on the aftermarket jobby the thread is very short, you know, it only stops about there so um and also this part here was a lot smaller so i had to use a washer to make sure it fitted into the console um and it's meant to have a washer a plate and a nut on the back of this on the aftermarket one but there's, there's just not enough thread so i ditched the plate and i even ditched the washer to be fair and i just did it straight up and hopefully it's enough the fact that my cable doesn't actually lock in the car um, I'm not actually going to put any strain strain on this I'm just going to be pulling the choke straight in and out so hopefully it's not going to be an issue um, but it's, it's something to play with I mean you could always file down the plastic on the centre console or something like that but I just want the bloody thing to work but it's working now anyway um, 
which is the main thing and he starts on the button like he used to before all of this massacre um but if a new old stock one of these comes along i definitely want it because it's just rubbish what i've got at the moment really and it, they're just made of cheese aren't they even the aftermarket one the aftermarket one i had it locking it was locking okay and then it, after a few goes it, it weren't locking anymore it's just rubbish absolutely rubbish thanks for watching bye